Okay, first thing we've got to do is download QT4 FS Archiver. I think the second one takes us yet. Yeah, download packet. Scroll down a bit. Debian six. And save the file. It's only a small one. Right click. I've already got it installed, that's why it didn't offer me install package. But that's what you do, just click on that button until it's done. Shut that down. Now what we're trying to do is back up the soul, what, what we're running now basically, which is on an external drive. That's the drive we're backing up, or partition. And I want to back it up to that partition, my data partition. Running out of space there. It's only a laptop with a little 80 gigabyte drive, so I struggle a bit on this one. Pretty straightforward. I think I made one mistake here. I haven't created a directory to save it into. That's the drive we want to back up, or partition rather. Use two cores. And yes, well, I no, it's there already. That's 500 data. I've already been looking at it, but. I haven't got a partition, uh, a folder named in there ready. So we better create one. Do one for QT4. And then do one inside it for Solus. And now we're ready to go. Back to QT Fall. SDA2, two cores, media. 500, there's the folder, and we put it in that one. So I normally give it the, the year, the month, and then the day, and all of them two digits basically, and it sorts really nicely then. Then I put the time in. You'll find after it's finished, there's another date added where we finished off there. But it goes day, month, year, so it sorts really badly in the file manager. That sorts properly in a file manager. And we'll call it demo, shall we? Uh, 
and it's off. That's all you've got to do, basically. I've nef never messed around with that save PBR. I assume it's the MBR, but it doesn't work. And you can turn off the notes if you want. That's it, just over seven minutes. On a slow old laptop, that isn't that good. Make sure it's been written. Come on down. And there it is, 2.1 gigabyte. So now it's, we know it's there. We'll do a restore next from the restore disk. Okay, that's the boot screen for the CD. Just hit enter and you'll arrive here. So we'll go into the partition manager. The password is user U-S-E-R. That's 500 data is where we're saving to, but that's the one we're going to back up. So we'll format it. Sorry, restore, not backup. So if we format that, there's nothing left on it. So you'll know it's been restored. That's it empty. So now we'll go into QT4FS Archiver and do a restore. Right, click on the restore button and select the drive, which is that one. Two cores again, two out of two. It's a bit slow to open that in the CD, it will open eventually. Media. And it's SDA3. That's a silly thing to do, clicking on that one. But that is the one we want. And there's the backup we just made. Click it back onto SB2, SDB2 rather. Good. And just click on restore and off it'll go. the demo that we wrote in and it's off it'll take two or three minutes I expect yeah, 
we started clicking up the percentage. Yeah, just under three and a half minutes. About half the time it takes to make a backup. That's it done. Now we should see that uh, partition filled up now. It was empty, wasn't it? Yep, 4.46 gig inside it now. So we'll do a reboot. Oh, it's slow to reboot. Of course it's on a CD, isn't it? And now we're on the hard drive. And if we go into G parted again, it should be, that partition should be locked because we're using it. Yep, locked. All done and dusted. That easy. I mean, when you think three and a half minutes to restore instead of a, doing a full install, which takes how long with all the applications? Bye. Hope it's helpful.